Hi, it's Eric Halliday with Utah Mortgage Pearls. Hey, are you self-employed and wanting to get a mortgage loan, either purchasing a home or refinancing a loan? This short message is for you. With COVID creating a problem with the economy, most lenders slash investors added a bunch of additional rules. They sort of dug into the current money that you're making even a little bit more than they did in the past. You know, a lot of times in the past, they would go more off tax returns and maybe a profit and loss statement, but now bank statements has become involved. So they're starting to soften those. We've still done a lot of self-employed loans, and I mean a lot over the last year and a half. We're happy to chat with self-employed. People kind of go over what the current rules are. So one quick definition of self-employed, a lot of people don't know, they think they're self-employed, they may not be. Sometimes people who make, who just make commission think, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be considered in every way self-employed. Not necessarily true. The definition of self-employed on a convention loan is that you own 25% or more of the business that you're wanting to count income from in order to get the loan. So the income that you list on the application. So that's the strict definition of self-employed, that you're 25% or more owner. And that's where the rules sort of get the tightest, I guess you could say. They want the most information. But there are times where, you know, we run the file, we get your application, we run it through these conventional underwriting systems, and they may only ask for one year of tax returns and then whatever the current year is, you know, some profit and loss statements and, and things like that. Yes, they kind of delve into your business a little bit, but it may not be as bad as you think. So if you're self-employed, please give us a call. We'd love to help you out. We'll talk to you soon.